It's Mr. Kanyele once more, Visual X Masterclass. We're looking at probability. I want us to look at the last part of probability now, called the fundamental counting principles. Remember what is fundamental counting principle? What is it that we're trying to do in this section? We're trying to find a shorter approach of calculating the number of possible outcomes. We're just calculating the number of possible outcomes in this way, in a shorter way. For example, let's, let's make an example. We've got two, two, two events here. We've got a coin and a dice. What are the possible outcomes for me when we toss a coin and throw a, and throw a dice? Now, remember how many possible outcomes do we have for a coin? We've got two. For a coin, you've got head and a tail. For a dice, how many possible outcomes? We've got six. Now the rule says you multiply those to be able to get the actual possible outcomes. Now what is this saying to us? If we can have one event that can be done in n ways and another event can be done in m ways, then the possible outcomes would be m times n. This is the rule that we're using to find the possible outcomes. This is a shorter version of getting these possible outcomes. Remember for a coin there will be two and for a dice there will be six. Then the possible outcomes will, all, will be uh, 12. We'll be doing a number of problems in this section. First, the first types of this kind of problems, it's, it's a menu for example. We'll be going to a password and we'll be going to sitting arrangements as well. 5.1, the metric dance committee has decided on the menu. This one is taken from the November 2008, it was olden days, it was paper three. That's where I found this menu. The metric dance committee has decided on the menu below for the 2008 metric dance. A person attending the dance may choose only one item from each category, that is status, main course, and the dessert. That, that is the menu for this metric dance. We've got status, we've got main course, and we've got dessert. Well, those are the three categories. But under status, we've got three types of options there. We've got crumbed mushroom, Elena might choose crumbed mushroom, might choose garlic or garlic bread or fish on the main course we've got uh, how many options one two we've got four options there on the main course of fried chicken beef bolognese chicken curry and vegetable curry on the dessert these learners in this metric terms have got only two options option number one is ice cream and option number two is mal malva pudding right 5.1.1 Let's look at that one, 5.1.1. What are they saying there? How many different meal combinations can be chosen? How many different meal? Remember this section is the, is the shortest approach of calculating the total possible outcomes. Now, how many different meal combinations can be chosen? Remember a child can, can choose crumb mushroom, fried chicken and ice cream. The child can choose crumb mushroom, beef bolognese and ice cream. The child can choose crumb mushroom, chicken curry and ice cream. So we want, we want to find how many in all uh, possible combinations we can get out of this menu. Now, fundamental counting principles make, us, make it easier for us to calculate that. Now, let's do it. Remember that if one, uh, one event can be done in n ways and the other one can be done in m ways to find the possible outcomes you multiply those two now let's do that here status let's go to status how many possible uh, outcomes remember the the the, the, the three, the, 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 the three uh, categories here we've got the status how many options do we have for status so we've got status we've got main course and we've got desert. These are the three uh, categories that we have. Now the question is, how many options do we have on status? That's what we are doing here. How many options do we have on status? One, mush cramped mushroom, garlic bread, and fish. You just write the three options. Times, because you multiply, the rule says you multiply. If I can flip the coin and roll the dice, that will be two times six. 
Let's look at the next category there, which is the main cause. How many options do we have in the main cause? You check the number of options. It's fried chicken, chicken beef bolognese, chicken curry, and vegetable curry. So we've got four options there times. Uh, how many options do we have for the dessert? It's just ice cream and malva pudding. And two. So if you multiply this, what do we have? What is three times four? Uh, it's 12. Then 12 times 2, it's 24. We have can have 24 different meal combinations in this particular one. 5.1.2. Let's look at the second one. What are they saying there? A particular person wishes to have chicken as his main cause. How many different meal combinations does, does he have? I repeat, a particular child wishes to have chicken as his main cause. How many different meal combinations? Okay. The option that he chooses in the main cause is chicken. These other options are still available, the starters and the dessert. The only change that is happening here now is in the main cause. Particular person who wishes to have chicken as his main cause. This is what, what changed. Otherwise, the other, one did, the other ones did not change. Remember, we've got three categories here. Uh, these are for starters, the main cause, and the dessert. Let's look at the child's wishes. How many options does the child have for starters? It is still three. That has not changed. Let us go to the last one, the dessert. How many options does this child now have for dessert? It is still two options. You multiply. Now let us look at where he changed the preferences. A particular child person wishes to have chicken as his main cause. Now this child wishes to have chicken. Then it takes off the beef bolognese and the vegetable uh, curry from the child's options. So in this now main cause, once you choose chicken, this is chicken, this is chicken. How many options does the child have now? It has only two options. Remember previously it was four, now it is two, because now he chooses only to have chicken in, in, as, as the main menu. Now, what is the total number of options that this child will now have? Well, it's three times two, it's six. Six times two, it will be 12. So this is how you deal with AMA meal combinations. This is how you go about finding the total possible outcomes. If one can be done in N ways and the other in M ways, the possible outcomes will be M times N. So we're multiplying these options in this particular case. Thank you.